Right, so moving on. So we are in a position now to, we have to use the board as well, right? So we have a 0 0.6 gram sample of uh, KiO3, which was dissolved in water and uh, excess Ki was added. So if you can remember, we have discussed five papers. Think about the places where we have come across this reaction. The minimum amount of HCl required to completely convert KiO3 to I3 minus. So I3 minus means since this they have added excess Ki. So basically there will be first the oxidation and reduction reaction. So there will be I minus, which is going to get oxidized to I2 first. And there will be IO3 minus, which is also going to reduce to I2. So this is like a disproportionation reduct disproportionation reaction where same species have undergone oxidation and reduction, like oxidation and reduction. Then you need to balance this. And if you balance this one, you can automatically see we have to put H plus here uh, in the medium. And then um, then you can uh, calculate the number of moles of KiO3 that you have uh, used here. So we will do the calculation very quickly. Uh, so the idea is this. So we have uh, KiO3 and Ki reaction, right? So what is happening here? IO3 minus get oxid uh, reduced to I2. So you have to balance this one. So I can put two iodine to balance iodine. And here to balance water. So there are six oxygens. So six H2O and 12 H plus, right? And then to balance the charges. So here 12 H plus and uh, two I minus. So there is 10 H plus, but here there is no charge. So I can add 10 electrons here to neutralize the charges. And there is I minus, which is oxidized to I2. So there will be two iodines here, so two minus. So I have to add two electrons to make the charges balance. Okay. And then uh, you can see the stoichiometry here between the electron is two is to 10. Okay, so you can multiply this by five. So this will be 10 electrons. This will be five I2. And this will be 10 iodine, iodide, in fact. Then you can add these two uh, equation to get an overall uh, result. Uh, the question asks how much uh, moles of H plus that is needed, right? So you have given the amount of KiO3 that they have used, that is 0 0.6 grams. So you can uh, find the molecular weight of uh, KiO3. In this case, uh, they have given the uh, uh, values also. So potassium is 39, iodine is 127, 39, 127, and this will be uh, 48, right? So the molecular weight will be uh, 39, 48. Uh, 24 and 7, 9, 11, and uh, 2, 14, in fact. So you can find the grams per mole. So you can find the number of moles of KiO3, which is the number of moles of IO3 minus. Then you have the stoichiometry that is uh, IO3 minus is to H plus is uh, 2 is to 12, which is 1 is to 6. So if you know the number of moles of IO3 minus, you can multiply it by 6 to get the number of moles of H plus that is necessary in order to carry out this oxidation and redox reaction. In fact, oxidation and reduction, redox reaction. So when you know the number of moles of H plus, what you can do? they have given the concentration, then you can find the volume that is uh, necessary, okay? You can do the calculation and you will see, you will get this answer, okay? 
The calculation is very simple. Uh, you just have to balance uh, IO3 minus equation if that, because you don't need to at least uh, balance this one and add. The only thing is you need to understand uh, here you need to multiply it by phi for I minus oxidizing to I2 because in order if you have some other question where you need to uh, know the overall reaction. So you need to know these two steps. But for the moment, so you can uh, use the stoichiometry of IO3 minus NH plus to get the uh, answer for this question. Okay. This is a straightforward one, not a big deal because we have seen this many times, this reaction in fact, okay.